Hi everyone, welcome to Focal Academy. See this problem. Here, how to find power absorbed by dependent source? How much power was absorbed by the dependent source? So, in the circuit, only one dependent source that is this is. If this is the current source, this is the dependent current source. And here, two resistors are in connected in series. Now, how can you find the power absorbed by the dependent source? If you want to find the power in the dependent source, we need current value and voltage in the dependent source. Current is already given, that is 2V0, and we need to find voltage. So, here V0 means this is a voltage drop across 10 ohms. For that, 2 times it is a current in the dependent source. First of all, we need to find V0 value. How can you find it? So, first of all, find the current direction in this branch. So if you observe carefully here, here the voltage is having direction that is plus to minus. So from plus to minus the current will be move means this is the current direction. So let us assume in this the current is small i. According to Ohm's law we know we know v equal to i r. So from this we get current value. So in the two resistance the current is flowing. Both are current in series that means in this 10 ohms there is current i is there. In this also the current is i. So, by using this Ohm's law, we can get current I value, that is current I equal to V by R. So, in 10 ohm resistor, so in 10 ohm resistor, voltage is given as V naught. So, V naught by R is 10 ohms, this is current I flowing in this branch in this direction. So, now apply node's law at this node. So, at this node, if you observe carefully, this current was entering and this current also entering, dependent current also entering. So, according to KC theorem, incoming currents equal to outgoing currents. So, there is no outgoing currents, that is equal to 0. Now, sum of the incoming currents equal to 0 in this problem. So, here in this branch, the current I is V0 by 10. So, V0 by 10 plus and from this branch, the current I is 25 amperes, 25 plus and from here the current was 2V0 thus B equal to 0. By simplifying this we will get V0 equal to minus 11.905 volts. So this is the voltage drop across this resistor. So for this voltage drop if you double it that is the current in the dependent current source means 2V0. So current I in dependent source that is 2 times of V0 that is 2 into minus 11.905 by simplifying this we will get minus 23.81 amperes this is the current of dependent source now we need voltage V in the dependent source so for this the voltage drop in these 10 ohms and this 10 ohms nothing but there is a total voltage that is the voltage for this two current source which are connected across this. So, for that the voltage V equal to total resistance of this branch. These two resistors are connected in series. Total resistance is 10 ohms plus 10 ohms. This is R value. Next current I is there. That current I is nothing but V0 by 10 into V0 by 10. So, from this we will get V equal to 20 into, so this is V0 value that is minus 11.905 by 10. By simplifying this we will get the voltage V equal to minus 23.81 volts. This is the voltage in the dependent source and this is the current in the dependent source. Now, we can easily find the power absorbed by this dependent source. The power formula is P equal to V into I. So, V is this is minus 23.81 volts into minus 23.81 amperes. By simplifying this, we will get 566.5 9 watts. This is the power absorbed by the 
dependent source in the given circuit and this is the process of simplification thanks for watching please subscribe like share thanks